Okay, so you may be wondering what the heck is a tax lien? And uh, certainly I, you may have heard this stuff about investing in them, which um, I'm not the guy who's gonna answer that. Thankfully, we have Ted Thomas here, who's got a lot of experience in this in this field, has been doing this a long time. Ted, good to see you again. And can you Thank tell you. us first, first, what is a tax lien? What is it exactly? Okay, well, first of all, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a CPA, I'm just an average person. And uh, I learned about this business uh, 30 years ago and I've been practicing it all that time. And a tax lien is something that's very simple. And I'm just talking about property taxes. I'm not talking about income tax or state tax or anything like that. So every property has a tax. And if the property owner doesn't pay that tax, it's called a property tax. If they don't pay the tax, the local government will issue a lien. In other words, they're just gonna say, look, you didn't pay your tax, so you owe us money. So we're gonna use your house of security and we're gonna put a lien against it. So they just take a piece of paper like I'm holding in my hand right now. This is just a tax lien and they attach that to your house. So you couldn't sell the property, you couldn't mortgage it, you couldn't okay. do anything with the property until you paid that. And okay. everybody has to do that every year. Okay, every I got year you. Have to pay it. So it's still yeah. it's still my house, but I can't do anything with it, you know, sell it or, or do anything until I, I make yeah, they good don't with kick the you out or anything like that. You just okay. keep the house, but they're they're slapping you again. They're saying, Look, you've got a tax, you you have to pay us someday. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. And that certificate you held up, that's they issue that then? They issue this piece of paper. And then they let people know because they put it published on the county website and they put it over in the newspaper so people can know that because some people, there's other people that are investors and investors say, well, wait a minute, that guy didn't pay the tax. I think I'll pay it for him. And so an investor can come in, which the government wants and pay the tax. Now remember, the government always needs money, especially a local government because they pay the school teachers, pay the fire department, police department, yep. they pay the county employees. So someone could come in and buy that certificate then instead of the government holding that piece of paper the individual could have that okay so people buy hundreds of these they'll they'll be in in some states like i live in florida they'll issue a million of these certificates every year so anybody can buy it so okay. I mean, this is not something new it's commonplace and every state either has tax liens or they have tax deeds one or the other are they the same thing? Tax deed and tax lien, just different names? No, no. Tax liens, uh, half of the states held tax liens. What it really means, if you hear the word tax lien, it really means that's a benevolent state. Now, when I say it's benevolent, they don't kick the people out. The people just stay in the house, but they always, they still owe the taxes. Now, you know, if you don't make your car payment, they don't pick your car payment car up the next day. They say, hey, wait a minute, you're going to make your car payment up. So you still have your car. In this case, you still have your house. They don't, they don't push anybody out but they'll only let you go so many years. You know, in some places it might like, Texas only gives you six months to pay it, but places like Florida, two years, places like Arizona, three years. Some people don't pay the tax for three years. And then when they, if they don't pay it ultimately, they'll lose the property. But basically 97, 98% of the people pay the tax. So when you buy a certificate, oh my goodness, you've got a safe, secure investment. You're not investing with Ted Thomas, you're investing directly with the local government. And then when the people come in and pay, the people come in and pay the whole tax. So you'll get back all your money plus a high interest rate. Well, interest rates in the bank, half of 1%, 1%. What if you can make 18% double yeah. your money every five years? What do you want? 1%? You want to double your money every five years? You make up your mind. So well, it's I been gotta going say, on for 200 years. I didn't invent it. This, this sounds pretty interesting. And now that we understand what tax liens are and how they relate to, you know, a way that people can invest, uh, if somebody wants to learn more, uh, what's, what's the best way? What's the next step for them? Best way is go to tedthomas.com and, and uh, select one of the different things that you want to learn there and learn about tax liens. You can learn basics. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll spend six or eight minutes just explaining tax liens or you know, eight or 10 minutes just explaining tax deeds and all the different ramifications. We've been doing this for, we've been teaching people for over 25 years. Well, I think that's why they call Ted, they, they call you the tax lien certificate and tax auction authority. So you heard it from the authority himself. Go check out the that's website, tedthomas.com, and um, we'll see you again soon.